Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the phenol coefficient test which is nowadays known as radial walker test. Okay, so now in this video we are going to discuss about the, we are going to know about what it is, why it is performed and how this phenol coefficient test is performed. Okay, so at first we will discuss about the why, why this phenol coefficient test is performed. So this phenol coefficient test is performed to evaluate the effectiveness of a disinfectant that means how much it is effective against microorganisms to kill those microorganisms. How much they effective against microorganisms in comparison with phenol. That means whether it is more effective than phenol or it is less effective than phenol. By this way we can evaluate a unknown disinfectant okay so here phenol is a standard disinfectant because phenol is the first disinfectant which is used so it here we take it as a standard disinfectant to evaluate the effectiveness of an unknown disinfectant okay so this is a bactericide to check the bactericidal activity of a disinfectant so this process is a checking process of bactericidal activity of a disinfectant. Now here we got a term that is disinfectant. So what is disinfectant and what is disinfection? So disinfection is a process to eliminate all or many pathogenic microorganisms and also any other vegetative microorganisms to ki kill them or eliminate them. But they cannot kill bacterial spores. Okay. So disinfectant are some chemical compounds which kill pathogenic microorganisms or any other vegetative microorganisms but they cannot kill the bacterial spores and where they work they only can be used in inanimate objects that means in chair table or any other inanimate objects not in living organisms or living things or in uh, not can be used in humans okay human body so they only can be used in inanimate objects to eliminate the pathogenic microorganisms or any other vegetative microorganisms. So this, this is the definition of disinfection, disinfectants. Okay, now we will discuss about what, what this phenol coefficient test is. So here we can see that this is a disinfectant which is, is equal to coefficient that is the multiplier into phenol. So if we denote the a unknown disinfectant as x and coefficient is n or any number and phenol is y then we can say that a disinfectant or an unknown disinfectant is n times more effective than phenol n times more effective than phenol and if this coefficient or multiplier is less than 1 then we can say that this disinfectant is less effective than phenol and is if this coefficient is more than one then we can say that this unknown disinfectant is more effective than phenol so in this way we can evaluate a unknown disinfectant okay so here in this phenol coefficient process we we measure or calculate the coefficient and by this we can evaluate the unknown disinfectant whether it is more effective than phenol or it is less effective than phenol for example here we take a 1 is to 100 1 is to 1000 dilution of an unknown disinfectant and here we take a uh, dilution 1 is to 100 dilution of a phenol and if this 1 is to 1000 dilution and 1 is to 100 dilution of phenol shows same effectiveness towards microorganism then we can say that this disinfectant, this dilution of disinfectant is 10 times more effective than phenol because this more dilution, that means it is more dilution, that means less concentration. That means less concentration of disinfectant can kill same amount of microorganisms when more or higher concentration of phenol is used. So in less concentration or less amount, in less amount, this disinfectant can kill more microorganisms or show more effectiveness. 
So in this way we can say that this disinfectant, this dilution of this disinfectant is 10 times more effective than phenol. Okay, so in this way we can evaluate the evaluate any unknown disinfectant. Okay, so this is all about the phenol coefficient test. Okay. Now we will discuss how this phenol coefficient test is performed. Okay, so at first we have to take the raw phenol and make a stock solution of this phenol by adding a sterile distilled water. Okay, and also at the same time we have to take a unknown disinfectant and make a stock solution of this unknown disinfectant. And after that we have to make, we have to prepare different dilutions of phenol and we have to prepare different dilutions of disinfectant. For phenol, we have to make 1 is to 95 dilution, 1 is to 100, 1 is to 105, 1 is to 110 and 1 is to 115. That means one part of phenol and one, one part, one part of phenol and 115 part of water. Okay, so in this way we have to make different dilutions of phenol and from the stock solution of disinfectant, we have to make different dilutions of disinfectant that are the 1 is to 1000, 1 is to 1100, 1 is to 1200, 1 is to 1300 and 1 is to 1400. Okay, so we have to make different dilution and one thing we have to uh, remember that this dilution that is 1 is to 1400 dilution, this is the lowest, uh, this is the highest dilution and highest dilution is which have less concentration more dilution proportional to less concentration so this is the highest dilution of disinfectant so it has less concentration of disinfectant that means lowest amount of disinfectant here has okay and here also in 1 is, one is to 115 it is the highest dilution of phenol so here less concentration lowest concentration of phenol is present and here the highest concentration of phenol is present here. Highest concentration of disinfectant is present among these all dilutions, dilution tubes. Okay, so now from these different dilutions of phenol and disinfectant, we have to we have to see which dilution of phenol and which dilution of disinfectant show same effectiveness to kill microorganisms. We have to see which dilution of phenol and which dilution of disinfectant show same effectiveness to kill microorganisms and from this we have to evaluate the effectiveness of unknown disinfectant okay so now after after making or after preparing these dilutions we have to add 24 hour old salmonella typhi culture into these tubes okay so now at first we have to add salmonella typhi culture 24 hour old salmonella typhi culture into 1 is to 95 dilution tube okay and after 2.5 minutes we have to add it into a nutrient broth or radial walker broth we have to these are all the radial walker broth tubes of 5 ml okay so here at first after adding the salmonella typhi into this tube this 1 is to 95 dilution tube then after 2.5 minutes we have to add it into this tubes these are the 2.5 minute batch okay so from this tube we have to add into this tube after 2.5 minutes so what does it mean so that means the bacterium which is added into this tube they expose to this phenol to this phenol dilution for 2.5 minutes in this tube so from this we have to add it into 2.5 minutes after 2.5 minutes and next after 5 minutes we have to take one loopful and into add into 5 minute batch tube into this 1 is to 95 dilution tubes okay so from this we have to add into this radial walker broth or the nutrient broth into the 5 minute tube after 5 minutes so here the bacteria got exposure of this phenol for 5 minutes and after after that we have to after 7.5 minutes we have to take another loopful and add into this tube okay and after 10 minutes after 10 minutes of addition of the s type into this tube after 10 minutes we have to take one loopful another and we have to put it into this tube okay so this so here this in this tube the bacteria are exposed to phenol for for 10 minutes okay so in this way after addition of one 
after addition of S typhi culture into this dilution tube, after 2.5 minutes, we have to take one loop full and we have to add into this 2.5 minute tube and after that, we have to put it into, after 5 minutes, we have to add it into here and after 7.5 minutes, we have to add another loop full into this tube and after 10 minutes, we have to take it and we have to add it into 10 minutes tube. So in this way, we have to add all these tubes from this to these tubes and from 1 is to 100 dilution tube to this after RN, after 2.5 minutes, after 5 minutes, after 7.5 minutes and 10 minutes we have to add one loop full and from this tube we have to add in this tubes after 2.5 minutes, 5 minutes, 7.5 minutes and 10 minutes. So in this way also we have to perform or add cultures from these tubes that means after addition of S type into this tube after 2.5 minutes we have to take a loop full into this 2.5 minute tubes and after 5 minutes we have to take another loop full and we have to add into this tube and after 7.5 minutes we have to take another loop and we have to add it into this tube and after 10 minutes we have to take another loop full and we have to add it into this tube. So in this way we have to inoculate all this radial walker broth. Okay and after that these 20 tubes of phenol, these 20 tubes of phenol and, and 20 tubes of disinfectant, all these radial walker broth tubes are incubated in incubator for 20 for 48 hours to 72 hours. And after that, we will check whether these tubes show any turbidity or growth or not. Okay, so after 48 hours, we will see whether these tubes whether these tubes are showing any growth or turbidity or not and from this we will take the result okay so suppose after 48 hours we got a result that is in this tube that is 1 is to 9 1 is to 95 dilution tube and that is the exposure time is 2.5 minutes so here we got no growth so sorry we got growth in this tube or we got the turbidity in this tube okay but after 2.5 minutes all in this tubes no growth is present that means this is the highest highest concentration this is the highest concentration of phenol here okay and after that means uh, 2.5 minutes mean means the bacteria got exposure for 2.5 minutes that is most less time and in where the bacteria got exposure for 5 minutes that means longer time they are killed by this phenol dilution so after the dilution is higher that means concentration of phenol is low so in next tube we can see that the concentration of phenol is low and so they cannot kill the microorganisms so here also see that the microorganisms can survive okay in 2.5 minutes and also in a 5 minute exposure we can see the microorganisms can survive okay and here in 7.5 minute that means in the 1 is to 100 dilution tube when we uh, expose the expose these bacteria for 7.5 minutes this time they can kill the microorganisms so here we can see that the microorganisms are killed in this 7.5 exposure tube and also in 10 uh, 10 minutes exposure tubes also the bacteria are killed okay but here in next dilution that is more dilution 1 is to 5 dilution in 2 minutes 2 5 minutes and 7.5 minutes all in all tubes the bacteria can grow okay bacteria show turbidity but in 10 minute tubes they show no turbidity that means they cannot grow or this the phenol dilution the phenol kill this bacteria in this 10 minute exposure tube okay but in next tubes no activity of phenol okay because the dilution is more okay so no phenol can kill this kill the salmonella typhi culture so here also we can see that suppose in this dilution of 2.5 minute exposure the growth is present and next in all tubes no growth is present here the first two 2.5 minutes and 5 minute exposure growth is present and after that no growth is present and here 
in this uh, 1 is to 1200 dilution the first three, tu uh, first three tubes that is the 2.5 minute exposure 5 minute exposure and 7.5 minutes exposure in all these tubes the growth is present but in 10 minutes tube no growth is present the bacteria is killed by by the by this disinfectant okay so here after this dilutions in these dilutions no bacteria can be killed by this disinfectant okay so from this result we will we will calculate the phenol coefficient so how we will calculate the phenol coefficient so we have to take the highest dilution of test disinfectant we have to take highest dilution of test disinfectant from this that kill microorganism in 7.5 minute but not in 5 minutes so here this tube that is the 1 is to 1100 tube that means 1 is to 1100 dilution this dilution cannot kill bacteria in 5 minute but can kill bacteria in 7.5 minutes so we have to take this 11000 so we have to take this 11000 sorry 1100 and next it is divided by highest dilution of phenol that kill microorganisms in 7.5 minute but not kill in 5 minutes so here we can see that this 1 is to 100 dilution so 1 is to 100, 100 dilution that cannot kill bacteria in 5 minute but can kill bacteria in 7.5 minutes so we have to take this dilution that is 100 dilution so we have to divide it and we got is 11 the phenol coefficient is 11 so from this phenol coefficient we can say that the test disinfectant is 11 times more effective than phenol so from this phenol coefficient we can evaluate the unknown disinfectant and we can say that this test disinfectant or unknown disinfectant is 11 times more effective than phenol okay so in this way we can evaluate the effectiveness of a unknown disinfectant okay thank you for watching this video